o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> i'm terrible with time anyways excuse my hair um this is leftover from um, yesterday and anyways so i'm gonna be getting ready for a wedding um so i'm gonna turn all of this into something hopefully beautiful we'll see give it a shot don't know but um heading to a wedding later today um it's gonna be a lot of fun. I actually kind of like grew up with the guy. It sounds really weird. It's like, oh my gosh, she's getting married. Like we're all growing up. But ah! so, anyways, <laughs> that's kind of what this trip has been about. Lots of like growing up and dying and lots of different things. Anyways, that just turned morbid really quick. So I'm gonna go get ready. Try to turn this into something presentable to the public. I'll give it a shot, and I will catch up with you guys later. And they'll become 
so mixed up that it would be very, very, very hard to individually separate all of them and make them individual colors again. That is the symbol of what he's talking about in marriage, that two become one. So as you can see, I managed to make myself look presentable. Um, say hi. So anyways, the wedding's over. As you saw in the vlog already, we are sitting at the reception. I don't even know if you can hear me because the music's kind of loud. Um, but yeah, super excited. This is a really nice wedding and it's a really nice reception. Oh, you're not in it. The there you are. Anyways, so yeah. All right, so everybody's getting here. Swap fuller. Anyways, <laughs> it's a lot. Wait here. Say hello. Anyway, again. <laughs> um, so it's a lot fuller than the last time I've recorded. Um, would you like to be part of it? Everybody's a part of it, yay! So anyways, we're just waiting for the bride and groom to get here. I'm gonna cut this short because everyone's looking at me weird. We're just waiting. And I don't know how long it's gonna take. Joshua Harris. Older, uh, we really matured, bonded, and um, 
He's one of the most honorable men that I know. Uh, he's always been there for me, supported me, always watched my six, and uh, you know, been the big brother that I needed. Uh, like I said, he's always supported me, so I know he will always support her. So, Mr. and Mrs. I don't you have nothing to worry about. To close, I'd like to raise our glasses one last time and uh, share one last thing. It's a verse out of Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, to praise the Lord, plans to prosper you, out of harm you, and give you a hope and a future. This verse has been in our family for many, many years, and it has always proven to be faithful, regardless of the circumstances. So I know it will continue to be faithful and true and carry on into your guys' marriage. Be hopeful and prosperous. Josh and Rowan.